Hello everyone, welcome to some more Super Mario Bros. Wonder. We are going to hopefully finish off World 4 in this video. Let's get started here with this first level, The Desert Mystery. I feel like that was, uh, there's like a song by, I want to say, Sarah McLaughlin back in the day called, it was like Building a Mystery or something. I don't know why that just came to mind, but, but it did. Alright, so we can bypass those. We've got drill power now. What's up here? Anything? Did we need to come up here for anything? I thought there would be like a 10 coin or something, but... There was no reward. So I just finished eating supper. And... I ended up ordering um, from a Mexi Mexican place, and I had a burrito. Now I need to ask people out there, for anybody out there who's a fan of burritos, I don't get the hype. Can you explain to me in the comments what the hype is behind burritos? Like, they just... For whatever reason, they just... They, they, they don't appeal to me at all. It's like, there's just so much rice and so much filling, and it's like, no, I want like all of the, all of the good stuff, all of the good ingredients that go into a taco but if you're just stuffing it full of like rice and stuff it's just i don't know it's not very appealing to me i guess but yeah i had a i had a shrimp burrito sorry goombas and um they stuffed it so full of like rice and beans that I don't know, I was just very meh about the whole experience. <laughs> Give me a drill. Give me the drill. You know the drill. Give me the coins. But yeah, like, I don't know, like, I really do enjoy Mexican food, but there's something about a burrito that's just never really appealed to me. I wonder where the the ten coins and the uh, the wonder flower are in this level. Cause I'm like finding absolutely nothing here. Ooh, there's a blue pipe. There's got to be something in the blue pipe, right? Oh my god, I was way too slow to get up there. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I woke him up and I snuck into the pipe. I'll take it. Oh, there's a 10 coin. There we go. That wasn't too bad at all. And it was only the second one, so we didn't miss anything yet. I wonder if my burrito opinion is going to be controversial or not. Okay, there's a 10 coin. That flower is sleeping, let's wake him up. And there's our wonder flower. Alright, let's do this. Building the pyramid, just like we're building a mystery. Oh, okay. Ah, crap. <laughs> okay, there was ground here at least, so that's good. Are we just trying to catch it? It looks like we're catching it. I thought maybe we were racing it, but... Doesn't appear to be the case. Oh, it was just waiting there for me. Okay, that was easy enough. Alright, let's go ahead and finish off this level here. Dang it. I think we're going to need to try this one more time. Oh my god. <laughs> I mistimed it.
There we go. There we go. We got the top of the flag now. And another wonder seed. I hope I haven't missed any like secret exit wonder seeds because I'd really hate to have to go back and hunt through each level just to find a missing wonder seed to 100% it. Yeah. All right, well, that's another level defeated. I think we only have... I was going to say, I think we only have one more lev uh, level down on this sand sort of area. And it was over here somewhere. There it is. Armad's on the roll. If you stomp on an Armad, you can pick it up and send it flying with a swift kick. Good to know. Well, speaking of burritos, Daisy looks like she's eaten a couple of burritos now. So there's a whole big switch sale going on, and there are like a bunch of levels that are not a bunch of levels, a bunch of games that I really want to like buy and check out, like a bunch of games that have been on my wish list forever. Um, is there nothing in that pipe? Dang it. This pipe? <clears throat> Dang that too. All right, let's keep going. But I'm having a lot of, I guess, like not trouble, but so I've mentioned before about how I like to collect physical copies of games. And I really want to get some of the games that are on that are on sale right now that are on my wish list. But a lot of them have like physical copies, whether they be like legit copies or like from limited run or strictly limited or something like that. Um so yeah, I'm, like, I'm kind of having a hard time trying to decide, you know, should I buy them in the sale? Should I, like, wait and see if I can get them physically? Like, for example, one of the very first games that I bought on the Switch was um, the Ace Attorney Trilogy. And the Ace Attorney Trilogy never got a physical release in North America, but there is a Japanese physical release, and, like, they have copies of it here at my local game store and like I really wish that I had bought it physically instead of there you go have a drink my friend um like I wish I could go back or I wish I could I wish I hadn't bought it digitally so that I wouldn't be so concerned about not getting the physical copy if that makes sense But now it's like I've spent, I don't even know how much money on, I can't remember, it was maybe it's like 20 bucks on the, the digital release. And it's like, do I want to spend another 50 bucks on, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. Oh, well, we got the Wonder Flower. Um, but yeah, like, do I want to spend another like 50, 60 bucks on a physical release? I mean, not really, but at the other, on the other hand, if companies are going to keep doing away with, um, like, you don't get to keep your digital purchases forever, then I kind of do want to get, get it physically so that I can play it one day. I don't know. And I guess now it's the same thing too, like, the Apollo... Apollo... was it? Apollo Justice? Ace Attorney? Just got a just released on the switch as well and it's like do i want to buy that digitally do i want to buy it physically like at least this time they made it a a physical release on the switch in north america so or do i want to keep them all digitally also i think i have all of those games already on my 3ds but i can't remember because <laughs> apparently i've lost my 3ds charger somewhere I have no idea where it went, and my 3DS is dead, so can't really go and check at the moment. Oops, my bad. At least we got the Wonder Seed. But yeah, like, with companies, I guess, like, sort of doing away with digital only... God dang it. <laughs> um, with them doing away with digital... Re not doing away with them, but, like, you don't necessarily get to keep them forever. 
then I kind of do want to... It makes me want to get physical releases of games even more. I don't know, it's very complicated. But I think what I might do is... For the games that actually do have a physical release... Like I'm... Like a... I don't want to say like a legit one, but... Um, ones that were actually sold in store, like not limited run or anything like that. I think I might just get those physical, but for those uh, limited run releases, I might hold off and maybe get them digitally. I don't know. Kind of just talking out loud at this point. I just really like having like the physical release. Like for Cuphead, I bought that digitally and then later on I ended up buying the, the limited edition of it when it came out. Like the uh, the North American one, not the... Uh... I can't remember who released it. I think it was on I Am 8-Bit that released another version of it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not focusing right now. Or I think another thing that I might do too is like... If a game is like maybe like three or four dollars or something like that, I might just buy digitally anyways. And then if it ever does get a physical release, then you know, that I won't feel so bad about spending the extra money. And if I don't like it, well then no harm, no foul, I don't need the physical release. But I just hate how companies are saying, starting to say, like, you don't own your digital games anymore. It's, I don't know, it feels kind of scummy to me, honestly. Break Time Treasure Vault. But if there are any games out there in the sale that you would recommend for me, or that you're interested in, let me know in the comments. I'd love to find out. Alright, let's do this. I know, right? Whoa, indeed. So am I looking for something? I think this was called Treasure Hunt, it said? But I don't know what it is I'm looking for. Oh, just the Wonder Seed. Okay, perfect. That was easy enough. Like, I know um, Sea of Stars is in the sale. That's one that I'm really interested in. And probably going to wait for that to come out physically. But, um, oh, what does this guy want? Have you seen what's happened to our palace? Ever since that kid got here, I've been too scared to get close. It used to be surrounded by so much pleasant water, too. I'd spend the day there chatting with friends until my petals whirled, but now... Sigh, I'm staying put here until that kid goes away. Don't worry, I will rescue you. Color Switch Dungeon. Hopefully we can make it through the rest of World 4 before my controller dies. Okay, we got some on-off switch action going on here. Will, you figure it all out? Will I figure it all out? Doubtful, but we'll see. But yeah, so there was um, Sea of Stars that's on sale right now. There was um, Disney Illusion Island, which if anybody has played that, I'm very curious to know how that is as well. It looks like a fun game, maybe a little easy, but nothing wrong with that. It just, it looked like a very enjoyable game when I was following sort of its like release schedule or not schedule, but just release. <laughs> okay, so we got a 10 coin there. So if we go back this way, now we can get it. Perfect. Got a key here, it looks like. Oh, to go through the key door. Well, that makes sense. But yeah, there's another game that came out that I was really interested in called Islanders. And I've had it on my list for I don't even know how long now. It's been quite a long time. Um, and I think the whole idea is you just build islands and your islands 
I guess like your islands get bigger and bigger as you go along, I think is the idea. I don't know. I can't remember, honestly. But there's just something about it that looked very, very interesting, very, I guess, relaxing. Just stuff like that. It looked, looked like a good game. Uh-oh, Shadow Mario's after me. It's like the Donald Trump of the uh, the Mario world. Just wanting to get his hands on poor old Daisy. Wants to get in her pants, I think. You know, not that I mean to get political or anything. <laughs> How did you get hit by Shadow Mario? Also, why did they only program Shadow Mario? Why didn't they program, like, some of the other characters? Or every character, for that matter, into, like, the Shadow... The Shadowness. I've totally lost track of how many... 10 coins I've gotten in this level. Should probably work on watering some more of those plants in case one of them holds a 10 coin. Hmm, do I go down or right? Guess we'll go right since that's what's activated right now. There we go, there's the 10 coin. Darn, I did miss one. I had a feeling I did. Which way you gonna go? Oops, my bad. Oh, wait. Okay, well, we didn't miss it then. We're, we're good, we're good, we're good to go. So where do we want to go down this middle path? Oh, but I think we need to hit the on-off switch. Because we want it to be... We want the blue to be active. Okay, that wasn't bad at all, actually. Thank you. And top of the flag to boot. This wasn't a bad level. There was lots of stuff going on. The on-off switches were pretty good. Having a good time with this one. My god, there are like secret levels popping up left, right, and center. We did it. We made it through the dungeon. This desert really has its share of mysteries and secrets. Oh, speaking of secrets. I heard there's a badge hidden somewhere in the desert that'll really get your feet moving. Have we found that already? I have no idea. <laughs> Another break time level. Wow, there are tons of them in World 4. Oh, so we just need to do this in the dark? That should be easy enough. There we go. A nice little break. Another easy wonder seed to get. All right, here's another level we haven't seen yet. Flight of the Blooms. Oh, wow. Four star difficulty. This should be interesting. Let's see how it goes. Oh, I could just fly over that. I didn't need these guys at all, really. Nice. See, me and the talking flower, we were we were on the same page on that one. Hey, I'm here. 
Okay, that was easy enough. And a checkpoint. Are we going to transform into a bloop again? Nope. Nice. I feel like throughout the game we've only lost, like... I don't know. Ten lives at the most, maybe? We got the Wonder Seed. Very nice. Another checkpoint. Oh god, we only got one coin for that. What's over here? Oh, is that like a reset? Interesting. Oh, the last 10 coin is up there. I just saw it peeking through those clouds there. There we go. Another level successfully completed. You know, even though I'm like almost done, almost four worlds fully completed, I'm still having a very good time with this game. Oh boy, expert badge challenge invisibility. Why would you ever want to be invisible in this game? Disappear from sight, making it impossible. Oh, okay, so you can actually hide from enemies in this. Well, that's handy, I suppose. And I mean, I can still see myself. I'm just a, a shadow of my former self. Now I can't see myself, which is unfortunate. There we go. I can't see myself. I'm scared. I need an adult. Wait, how did he know I was there if he can't see me? Oh, maybe I bumped into him. And I just didn't notice. This feels dangerous. Hey, Alejandro! <laughs> That's what my friends used to call me back in the day. Especially when that um, Lady Gaga song was really popular. The Alejandro song. Nice, I still got top of the flag, even though I had no idea where the heck I was. But yeah, it's okay, I can kind of understand the benefits of this badge. At the same time, it just feels super risky to use in any any kind of situation. Well, I don't think I missed any levels or anything like that, so... Let's go ahead and see if we can take on the kid who's been wreaking havoc on this World 4, this sun-baked desert. <laughs> I sure am talking, Flower. Oh god. <laughs> Uh-oh, the low battery. Will it prevent me? Dang it, I was that was that was for science. I wasn't sure if I could get past that or not. Turns out I cannot.
Well, at least we got the 10 coin, no problem. And a checkpoint already. This game is very generous with its checkpoints. Hey, we found the Wonder Flower. Let's -a go. Yes, I've regained my lost drill power. Oh, it's like speeding up and slowing down. That's interesting. Ow. Okay, well, we got the 10 coin, which is good. Extra life, I'll take that. I don't need this flower coin, but I kind of want it, honestly. But uh, I think I need uh, the drill for that. To help me get up there. Ow. Good thing I brought an extra fire flower along. Oops. I got overzealous in my jumping. There's the last 10 coin. Oh, do I need the drill to get it? Methinks I just might. Oh well, I'll come back for that 10 coin another time. Alright, I think we're leading up to Bowser Jr. now. Good old BJ. Let's do this. No idea what the fight is going to be for this. There we go. Water? Oh yeah, he's hoarding all the water from the desert. Ugh, you again. This pool party was way more fun before you showed up. Well, whatever. Pretty soon a big bad wonder is going to happen. Then the world will belong to Dad. So now's a pretty good time for you to give up. And if you won't, I'll make you. Alright, let's see what he does. Hi, Toad. Good luck. Okay, that was an easy enough start. Oh god, now he's making the water go everywhere. Wonder how many hits he'll take this time. Can't remember, last time I swear it was like... Didn't he take four hits last time? Could be wrong. It's been a really long time since I've had to fight him. So, well, that was three. Ooh, I just dodged him there. That was like some Matrix action. Yeah, it was four hits again. But we've done it. We have conquered Bowser Jr. yet again. Pretty sure we're going to collect another royal seed as well here. There it is. You got a royal seed. Let's see if we 100%ed it. Before we finish things off here. Hooray, we restored the castle. And so, Daisy's party returned the sun-baked desert's stolen water. With the fourth royal seed recovered, where will they go next? Will they head for the mysterious ruins in the fungi mines, or the molten pools of deep magma bog? 
Daisy's party adventures onward to stop Bowser's evil plans. Well, you're welcome, Poplins, for restoring your water to your desert world. What is that? Congratulations, you found all the wonder seeds in the sunbaked desert. Here's a hundred flower coins to celebrate your achievement. Well, thank you. Let's use a propeller flower to return to the Petal Isles. It's pretty windy, so careful not to get sand in your eyes. Well, as we are doing that, I'm going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, leave a comment. Consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. We are probably going to check out World 5 in the next video. But until then, have a good one, and I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.